Good morning everyone, welcome to the TARDS game for another day. In today's video we will see one of the most accurate and with more win rate strategies that we have tested, specifically for scalping and day trading in 5 minutes candles. We know that most of you like this style of intraday trading, quick trades, entries and exits in a very short time interval, and so we decided to bring you this piece of strategy based on momentum and also, as you are seeing, has buy and sell signals to make it very easy to use, both for people who are starting from scratch in the world of trading, and even for experienced traders. It has been tested over the past few months in more than 1,000 trades, obtaining almost 90% combined win rate in different assets, both stocks, forex, and cryptocurrencies, and having such specific buy and sell signals we will use it with operating ratios of 1.5-1. And before we start we have created for all of you a free community on Telegram where we will be informing you day after day of what is happening in the financial markets. It is completely free. You will have the link in the description so do not forget to sign up. Because in the markets the most important thing is to always be informed. And for all those who are looking for the best platforms with the best free bonuses if you want to start in the world of trading, you will also have the trading bonus page in the description. You can even sign up for their newsletter, so that every week they send you an analysis of everything that has been happening in the market during the week directly to your inbox. We are specifically on the Bitcoin chart with USDT, which is where we are going to start explaining this strategy. As you can see in 5 minute temporality, since our operations are going to be quite fast and normally will not take more than a few hours. If we go to the indicators section, the first one we have to look for is the YP Profit Maximizer. Here you have it from NS Yetkin. We mark it, and you can put it in favorites. We would get something like this. If you see the bottom, simply remove it, and we will modify the options of the indicator itself. In the style section, we will remove these two above, and just below where it says moving average, we will go to buy. And here we will place below the bar. This is simply so that the buy signals appear just below the candle at the time of entry. And we will do the same in sell. But this time we will put it above the bar, you can see here the change, and if we put it above the bar just mark the candle where we will have that signal. If we go down a little further we will also remove negotiations on the chart and signal labels, and in the part of data entries we are going to leave it like this. But I know that there are traders who prefer to change some value, we will see it this way in the simplest way but in turn very effective. We click on accept, and we already have this indicator in place. As you can see, there are certain situations in which this indicator by itself works quite well, but obviously we are going to add something more to avoid fake outs. We return to the indicators section, we write momentum and we would have to look for this one here. Momentum strength by cell pivot study. We would click and we would have something like this. In fact, if you don't get only momentum, type momentum strength pivot and you will get these two. Although they are both from the same creator, we are going to choose the second one the one that is less used. We click on it, and now we will have to configure it quite a lot. In the data entries we leave it as it is, but in the style the first thing we are going to do is to remove the background, we will put the central line of a color a little more visible, for example this light blue, white, yellow, and in the levels we will put 70 slash 30, in the upper level we are going to give the line a red tone, and the lower level a green tone because if the price reaches the top it will obviously indicate that the price is already overbought, and that there is a greater probability that the trend will change downwards. And the same would happen at the lower level. Only the other way around, we would be oversold and the momentum could change to the upside. Important to remove this option above as well, since we are not going to need those vertical signals, and we hit accept. We have to add one more thing which is something a little personal but that will help you in the day-to-day -day operating with this strategy. We simply look for the center of the numbering of this indicator, that is if we have the lower line at 30 and the upper line at 70. The average between the two points would be the coordinates of 50. We place it, and we would have something like this. Well, the strategy as I say is very simple, very quick to see, and would consist of the following. The lower indicator shows us the momentum of the movement, i.e. when the blue line is above the value 50 of the yellow line, i.e. the middle of the indicator, and especially approaching or touching the upper green line, it means we have a great bullish momentum, 
And as you see that is what happens. That the price does not stop rising. How should we enter this operation? Very easy. We mark the buy signal. We place our stop loss below the first low of the previous structure and our take profit more or less than the ratio 1.5 slash 1, there we have it, and our operation would go positive. In the opposite case of a sell signal, how would the momentum have to be? In this case below the middle line, the line that we have placed at the 50 points mark, and touching the red line below, i.e. in this area. In this case everything fits and we place our operation, Seeing that there is so much volatility we could apply a little of our knowledge of price action and leave our stop loss in this area, but you can even see that taking it to the maximum of the previous structure, as would be the exact rule, and looking for a ratio 1.5 slash 1, we would see how our operation would touch us completely in profit. Another detail that we have to take into account, and that is also something that helps us a lot in this momentum indicator, is that we can also detect the fatigue in the price and divergences. You can see perfectly how the trend is completely bullish. But when we get to this point here we can see that the price continues to rise marking two other higher highs, while the momentum in our indicator starts to go down. We see a complete divergence, and if you look at the moment that the price leaves the upper zone, i.e. the price was in this rise above the red line that we have put at 70 points, the first time it touches and re-enters the green line, i.e. at this point is precisely also when the trend of this upper structure is broken and the big fall begins, because the momentum stopped being positive when leaving that upper zone, and begins to be negative driving the price down. The same thing happens here, a little further ahead, in this case we see how the price keeps going down creating several lower lows, however in the momentum we have this bullish divergence, what happens? Exactly the same, when this divergence is completed the price starts to go up. This reasoning will also help us to avoid some entries that we should not take. In this case for example we get the buy signal. We look at the bottom. We see that indeed the price is touching the momentum of the green line. But it is not touching the red line. Which would already be the extreme point of overbought. So yes, we can enter perfectly in this operation. We put it below the previous lows and we place our 1.5. There you have again another operation perfectly in device. But what would happen if for example this buy, this signal, marked it up here, for example? Why would we know that we should not take that operation in long? Because we would look at our momentum indicator, and we would see that the price has already touched that upper part, that red line, above 70 points, which tells us that we have already reached an extreme overbought price and that it could start to fall. And also, as you can see a little bit later, it would mark a very clear divergence again. What happens? that the price starts to fall. Even so our indicator of buy and sell signals is not going to show you too many false signals that you have to make this reasoning but I want you to take it into account because at the end, in the day to day watching the charts this kind of things, this extra information can be very useful. Here we have another short entry that we would place here. We would place our stop loss in this case by the previous structural highs and we would look for that 1 slash 1.5 ratio. There it is we would take another positive trade. And here we would enter another signal. We would place the stop loss more or less around here and we would look for that 1.5. There it is. Here you have again another perfect trade. Personally I have to tell you that this is one of the most effective strategies and above all easier and more comfortable to use, both for those of you who are new and for those people who are away from home for any reason, work, family, and only have a while to look at the charts as they do not need too many guidelines to apply it. As always thank you very much from the whole team of the TARDS game for seeing us one more day. Do not forget to join our free telegram community, where we will try to bring you as much value as possible, and if anyone wants to take advantage of bonuses and offers from our partner trading bonus always going to have them in the description, pass by because there are very good opportunities. See you in the next video.